One Arcadia teacher is calling it a career after more than 30 years in education, but the teacher taking his place is a familiar face. Tonight, only on News 8 Now, reporter Jordan Fremstead tells us how a dream can be fulfilled in a person's hometown. On the surface of Arcadia High School, not much is happening at the moment. I think everybody maybe feels like there's a lot unfinished because the way we had to just end things. But if you look closer, you'll see more is happening now when no one is watching. I've been a teacher for 32 years. Arcadia High School's Carl McKeith thought about retiring this year, but he had second thoughts when school instantly closed. And the biggest reason I was holding back was because I didn't get to, you know, say goodbye to the kids and, and the staff. His daughter, Taryn, was his student. All my kids went through the art program. I spent so many hours after school in his room. Carl was also Taryn's coach. We would all go on like family diets during wrestling season. All of this is only possible because Carl decided to move back home after teaching in Watertown. It was a big school. Watertown had uh, 1,600 kids just in the high school. Small towns are where dreams are made. Hands down, I would do this again. Some students are returning for the fall semester. This is it. There's right a little across. cleaning in order. A classroom turned time capsule. The calendar is still on March over there. Is where time stands still. That took us a whole day just to clean those out. Because I have a lot of projects in my room that were half done or three-fourths done and they're just sitting there. This is just my junk that I'm It's not to like his classroom yeah, is now in the hands of someone he doesn't know. My own daughter is taking over. <laughs> That's pretty special. And I promised mom I wouldn't let him take stuff home. Well, now he took like six boxes full of papers home of all the stuff he has written about wrestling. So I'm like, sorry, mom. After six years teaching at Alma Center in Black River Falls, like father, like daughter, Taryn is moving home. These former teachers of mine now being colleagues and my boss and stuff, it was really exciting. It's kind of been our dream since she was a little kid. The hard part is getting rid of 30 years of creativity. And so it's getting there. Both share a bond sewn together yeah. by family and decades of creations in this very room. Even some of the shelves were built by her grandpa. So my grandpa passed away a while ago, so it's like, oh, I don't want to get rid of grandpa's shelves. Taryn says store aisles of art stores are empty. And all these different art sets were going so fast and the shelves were empty because people need something to do. Art gives people a chance to find peace in a year of anxious moments. The skills that you come out with aren't just your physical artistic skills, it's the way you see things. 2020 can be seen as the year that was canceled, or it can be seen as a year things changed for the better. Well, I'll tell you, things just fell in place. This is Jordan Fremstead. Life is good, even in these hard times. News 8 now. So there's a lot to be happy with. Arcadia. Taryn says she never wants to throw art away, but since she can't keep everything in her new classroom, she does plan to sell some of the art, and she says she would like to use the money to donate to different causes in her community.